The study was conducted to investigate the association between caffeine consumption and the risk of heart disease in a group of adults that are 20 to 30 years old. Researchers collected data on the following variables, age, gender, smoking status, that's probably going to be important, caffeine consumption, so how much caffeine did they drink, and the incidence of heart disease. So smoking status, can smoking increase heart disease even in 20 to 30 year olds? I believe that that can be the actual pathway. So in my mind, smoking is probably much greater than even age in 20 to 30 year olds. Now, if there was no 20 to 30 year olds here, um, age probably would be a greater number, or if it was 50 to 60 or 60 plus, then age probably would be smoking status. But I'm gonna say smoking status is going to be variable because the pathway here is smoking status causing heart disease. And the interesting thing is that the published research showed that there was an increase in caffeine use and an increase in heart disease but then when they stratified by smoking versus non-smoking, so they had their caffeine folks and they put them in smokers versus non-smokers, what ended up happening was the association between caffeine and heart disease went away and they found that the increased heart disease was in the smoking group and not in the non-smoking group. So smoking status is actually the most correct answer choice in this situation.